And everyone is saying, including me, that if it had gone the opposite way, if the Iowa team had won, no way the LSU would have gotten invited. No one's going to invite a bunch of little hood rats. They kind of get a <laughs> ghetto fabric. No, but I mean, <laughs> I'm saying that, like, endearingly. Oh, we're going? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm Jericho, and this is Zap from the Now. Six-time international award-winning hip-hop-hop duo banded future. We do clean, fun music that, that everyone can listen to. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> what kind of style is it? With a, with a sound that's uniquely Californian. Oh, okay. You are now tuned in to the Life is a Circus podcast. We talk about everything that is interesting, funny, and just straight-up ridiculous. Yeah, man. Sure like, subscribe, comment, and share this video with everybody you know, or else. My throat, I don't know yeah. what's happening right at this moment, but it's okay. No, you know what that is? That's the anger coming out of me, because I'm about to tell them why I'm mad, son. I'm about to tell them why I'm mad. There's so much that my throat can handle it, all right? Sir, I need you to calm down over there, sir. I need you to calm down. It's about to get real serious, okay? Please calm down. <clears throat> Can't handle it. Can't handle it. Anyways, so. Or else. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what was going on. But anyways, uh, <laughs> racism, right? So I'm tired of it. And it's 2020. <laughs> Great <laughs> transition. Thank you. It keeps, it, keeps, it keeps rearing its ugly head. I don't understand it. But uh, what I'm referring to is the thing that happened a couple months ago with women's college basketball. Uh, the LSU Lady Tigers won, led by uh, Angel Reese. Uh, a fine young lady who can call me at any time. And um, <laughs> what happened was, for those of you that aren't aware, the Lady Tigers won, and they were playing the Iowa, I don't know the name of their mascot, but anyway, Iowa. And Caitlin Clark is the, the superstar on that team, and LSU won, and Caitlin Clark's kind of like the great white hope, like, okay, anytime there's a good white basketball player, they're like, oh, she's the next Larry Bird, or he's the next Larry Bird, or Dirk, or whatever. It's a big deal, right? Because black people tend to be Pretty good at basketball, if you haven't noticed. So they are right. They, 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 know, they tend to be. They tend to be. Um, no, 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 no shade on any other race. It's just that black people look at the NBA. You'll see. So uh, <laughs> what happened was that the winner of every national championship in every sport gets invited to the White House uh, at the end of the year or, or the certain part of the season. It's been a tradition since the 1800s. I believe the late 1800s, oh, and wow. it's always the winner of the championship. I repeat, the winner, that's the key word right there, of the championship. Well, the lovely Miss Jill Biden, uh, the first lady of our Dang. country, you know, decided political. to suggest that, hey, the lady, well, the Iowa whatever's, they're not corn huskers, that's Nebraska, the Iowa somethings, that they should be invited also. Because the they Iowa whatever's? Them. I'm sure that's not <laughs> what it is. But anyways, um, that they should get invited too because they tried so hard, yay for them. And everyone is saying, including me, that if it had gone the opposite way, if the Iowa team had won, no way the LSU would have gotten invited. No one's gonna invite a bunch of little hood rats. They kind of get a <laughs> ghetto fabric. No, but I mean, <laughs> I'm saying that like endearingly, like, hey, be who you are, bro, or sis. So I'll, I'll, I'll you know, they have a little more attitude, a little more swagger, and it's just interesting to see that happening again nowadays, where there's an obvious disparity. There's also some incident where Andrew Reese did a gesture to Caitlin Clark. It was the same gesture that Caitlin Clark had done to a previous team. And the media bashed Angel Reese for doing it, whereas Caitlin Clark was kind of applauded for showing so much swag or bravado or whatever it is. So it's just the dynamic in the, the fact that it's still something that causes a lot of 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 this, a lot of discussions like this, where it's still that important the black white thing, and I'm not saying it's ever going to go away. It's just interesting that it kind of shows up like that, mm. and the double standard that happens, and it's often said that black people have to be twice as good to get the same, and it's just so evident with things that happen like this, and and Miss Jill Biden shouldn't be let. She tweeted, I believe. Um, <laughs> She should have her tweets reviewed. That's all I'm saying. There should be a, a tweet review committee. Mm. The same one that should have 
done for Trump. You know what I mean? <laughs> a tweet no, can... we don't want to review his tweets. They, they were fun for everyone. Well, kind of, but uh, <laughs> the whole thing is, that, and, and it made me angrier than, and, and I, and I realized it's why, because just another reminder of how much harder we have to work as black people just mm. to kind of get the same, the same thing. But just the idea to break, no one had ever thought of inviting the loot. You lost, bro. <laughs> you lost, okay? And you still get invited. And you mentioned, didn't Caitlin Clark have a commercial during the NBA Finals? Yes, yes. Huh. Uh, I mean, well, let's, let's calm down, calm down. It's okay. It's, it's going to be so all right. Hot, man. I'm going to be all right, man. I'm so hot, bro. Um, yeah, man. I, I well, for, for let's back up. Because, like, for, for people who don't um, know us personally, just kind of know us as Bandit Future, uh, we're actually big NBA fans. Um, so we talk NBA and, and just kind of sports in general pretty regularly. It's like if music was our job, then like sports would be like the hobby and stuff we talk about. Um, so we're like huge NBA fans. Um, WNBA, not so much for me, but I know like your dad kind of keeps up with WNBA. He's the biggest fan. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And so that has uh, that filters down into your life some some ways shape or form but uh yeah man it's like i i i follow that whole story um and it was it was like pretty interesting and pretty blatant like uh, same thing i'd never heard like the runner-up being invited to like the white house or anything like that and it's 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 so weird just as as a black person it's it you can't really explain it until it until it it's like your life like no no other person can understand like that black experience of like oh this person is another race they're probably going to get this you know, get this thing before I do when like, you know, we see it all the time. And especially like in our arena where we deal with like marketing and entertainment and things like that. Cause you I mean, sports is, is just another form of entertainment, right? So um, you, you could see it in music. You could see it in, I definitely see it in, in film, um, film and TV, like there's a long history of that. Um, and even a lot of stuff there hasn't, hasn't changed, mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, man, it's, it's just, um, it's a lot of, a lot of ideas from people who, who think a certain thing is more marketable. Um, like even me, like when I do, I've done a lot of marketing events and things like that. And it's kind of a tangent, but I don't, I don't know where to go from this topic. <laughs> but I was just speaking about my own experience. Like a lot of when you work in like sales and marketing, like just like outside of the entertainment industry, it's like a you like nine times out of 10, you are presented with a white female. And that is like the most accepting individual to these people that you're trying to do business with. Um, and it's just, and I've worked with a laundry list of companies like, I mean, big corp, I'm gonna wanna name them all, but it's just big corporations and it's everywhere I go, it's the same thing. You're trying to sell something, you get a pretty white female in there, which is racial and in terms of gender too. Mm -hmm. um, it's just like, you know, and there's even like statistics, you know, I don't know about the race, but I know for sure, you know, st statistically people want to accept something from a female rather than a male. Like if you're trying to sell, sell me something, mm -hmm. the, the female is more approachable. Um, so a female would probably get the job. Um, so, you know, that stuff is this, it's like all around. 
and it's just crazy from to show the black experience um that you know it's it's just you can't understand it unless you're black and you're like oh yeah like that happened that happened to me on thursday <laughs> i was they wanted to invite me and 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 i won and I, man i won the poker game man exactly <laughs> poker game huh um <laughs> well but um that's, uh, that's for another podcast yes lord but yeah, <laughs> I, I get it and the idea of uh yeah marketability is interesting because yeah angel reese is a big she's a tall black girl with an attitude problem <laughs> that's what that's what people see her as you know yeah. and I, can, uh, you're right I, I didn't i didn't i didn't uh address your comment i did see uh the other girl in the commercial for the nba finals um so mm -hmm. i mean some company thought she was marketable exactly and exactly. even though she was the loser she was more marketable than the other the angel is it angel reese is that her angel name reese. Angel, yeah. angel reese angel I've, reese i haven't seen her in any commercials i've seen i've seen her in the sports illustrated oh okay well. edition, and that was very fantastic <laughs> but hey angel i know you're taller than me Oh man, we're out of time. So, uh, anyways, <laughs> this has been Life's a Circus podcast. Uh, <laughs> make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share um, what you think about this. Was is was this wrong? I know it was a while ago, but was it wrong? Should the loser not be invited to the White House? Is not. this still a problem in sports in life? Have you encountered this? Let us know what's up. What you think about this Comments. and um angel if you're watching jericho is interested so yeah hey girl good luck brother <laughs> <laughs> she's famous now i know i gotta get to her level yeah but the, the only way you can get to her level is if you took her job you need to Job. They took our jobs. They took our jobs. They took our jobs.